What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 113 of Xur. And Xur is located on the EDZ. By the Winding Cove in this area right here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Xur! What's up, dude? So like every week, we're going to go ahead and start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Risk Runner, which is an exotic submachine gun. Then we have the Transversus Stats for the Warlock, the Frosties for the Hunter, as well as the Eternal Warrior for the Titan. So we are going to go ahead and start with the wonderful Risk Runner. In terms of perk on this is Arc Conductor, which taking Arc Damage increases weapon power and Arc Resistance. Then we also have Arrowhead Break, Extended Mag, Super Conductor. Sorry about the puppy. And short action stock. And this doesn't actually come with the catalyst, but uh, catalyst is pretty interesting. And let's go ahead and look at the ornaments. We have Summer Storm, as well as Electric Violet. Now, these ornaments don't come with the weapon. However, um, these are what they look like. Anyways, real quick. The Risk Runner is a good exotic for PvE as well as PvP. And anything over... Uh, a 2v2 the risk runner definitely does good in uh, pvp as and, and pve against ads it's amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and rate this a tier 2.5 at least in pvp because um, you don't really see much people wasting their exotic slot on the risk runner however it will get a tier 2 um, in PvE, however, an argument could be made for 1.5. If you guys do not know the tier list, I will put it down in the description box below. Next, we have the Transversus Steps. In terms of perk on this is Strange Protractor, which buffs Sprint. Sprinting reloads uh, current weapon. And this actually has the Arc Armor tier. And obviously, you can go ahead and put whatever mods inside of it that you want. Now, any type of mobility in this game or exotic armor that gives you mobility is great. However, if you guys know my rule of thumb when it comes to um, exotics, especially armor 2.0 exotics, anything with a plus 13 or higher uh, for a specific stat that has to do with the exotic is best. Since this has to do with running, sprinting, all that wonderful stuff, mobility is what you want. And this has a plus 17, so I would go ahead and grab this this week. Not to mention, it also does have a, at least a plus 10 intellect, which still is good. But that plus 17 mobility makes this amazing. So go ahead and grab this. This is definitely a tier 2 in PvP, but... You really don't need it so much in PvE. So it could be a 2.5 to even a tier 3 in PvE. But in PvP is where this exotic shines. So go ahead and grab that. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Next, we have the Frosties for the Hunter. To the perk on this is Rapid Cooldown, which sprinting gives energy. Uh, dodging uh, speeds up sprint. And once again, I'm going back on what I just said. Plus 18 mobility. Go ahead and grab it. It is an amazing exotic to have. Uh, and like I said before, you can go ahead and put whatever mod you want on it. And this also has a arc armor tier. Um, what is the elemental on it? So you definitely go ahead and grab that. And you know what? I don't really use frosties, but I will go ahead and sacrifice, uh, you know, something just to get a better exotic. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And last but not least, we have the Eternal Warrior. In terms of perk on this is Resolute, which casting uh, Fist of Havoc grants an overshield. Now, this does have a... Uh, since it does have to do with Fist of Havoc, Fist of Havoc obviously is a super. Intellect is a plus 12. You can get away with that a little bit. Um, it's not perfect like the other two, where they have plus 13 and above. However, a plus 12 isn't really that bad. I probably wouldn't go anything lower than a 12, though. Otherwise, you'd be wasting um, character stats on an exotic. And then, once again, you could put uh, whatever mod you want on this. And actually, that's kind of weird because this is an Arc Armor Tier uh, exotic as well. I guess Arc is for this week. Literally this week because Risk Runner is Arc as well. That's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that for my Titan. 
Then we had your consumables, your uh, Nightfall Challenge car, as well as your Invitation, from which I will never, ever, ever do again. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which will give you a wonderful exotic. If by any chance you do not have one of these exotics, go ahead and grab this first before grabbing the Faded Engram, because you do have a chance to grab one of these, which only costs 23 Legendary Shards, as well as 29 for the weapon for 97 Legendary Shards. So let's go ahead and see what we get this week in the Faded Engram. See what I mean? <laughs> That's exactly the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> I just wasted 97 legendary shards for a Risk Runner that was already being sold. That's amazing. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.